Remember I told you about uh, when a plant pops up to know that it's time to plant them? This tomato plant was a volunteer. It's out here in the coldest part of the yard. We went through that one last frost. There was frost here in this yard just a couple weeks ago. But look at this plant. I mean, uh, how, how healthy it is. It's in a, its own pot. It's just, it is a bigger pot, but it's just full of compost. And it's in a mound of crap, really. I mean, this is just, you know, this is not anything to brag about. <laughs> but it does hold the water. And this is the mycelium. See these little white things? This, these little white things, you've seen them on uh, oh, cardboard that's wet or a piece of wood that's wet. You turn it over and you got these like delta systems going out. Yeah, yeah. These have a symbiotic relationship with the plant. Wherever these mycelium, my, which is a fungus, crosses each other, say one is over here and one is over here and they cross, they become one. And what they do is they go way out. So they'll go three times farther than the plant can put its roots. And they have a relationship with the plants when what, that they take, I think it's, it's either potassium or phosphorus, I think it's phosphorus, out of the soil and they bring it to the plant. So the plant gets three times the phosphorus it would have gotten by itself. And it, in exchange, the plant, which makes sugar and the fungus can't because it doesn't have any chlorophyll, the plant's making sugar and right at the roots where they join, they trade off sugar for potassium. Good deal. So how do you get mycelium? Just go in the back, put some cardboard down, keep it wet. <laughs> you know? uh, once you've got it, these guys, when they put the mulch down and you've got piles and piles of mulch, they'll, wood chips, yeah, thank you. They'll fill up with the mycelium and you just move it around and it, it starts spreading. So you always want it wherever you've got it, you know, in your garden. I'll tell you more when we get back to the bins.